Firstly, we come to the thick smear. Actually, why do we do thick and thin smears in malaria? Thick smear, we get a, low, a large number of parasite load. Because the smear is thick, there will be a large number of RBCs and naturally more parasites. And so this is intended to see if there is malarial parasite in the smear or in blood. And the thin smear we use to identify the species. Anyway, coming to this slide. What you see in this slide is a brownish pigment. That is actually the malarial pigment, also known as hemozoin. It is actually a pigment produced due to the digestion of RBCs, destruction and digestion of RBC products by the malarial parasite. In this we see the ring forms. This is the ring form uh, identified by the chromatin dot here and also a ring. Uh, we, can't, we can't really find absolutely perfect rings in thick smears. Uh, we can, but in this uh, we can quite appreciate a ring. This is the ring form. Actually, what is a ring form? Ring forms are actually early trophozoites. Trophozoites, uh, the earliest stage of trophozoit is actually the ring form. That is when the merozoites infect the RBC. The first stage is the ring form. That is early trophozoite. Then they go on to the uh, amoeboid trophozoite later matures anyway now this is the schizont schizont actually this is a thick smear uh, but we can quite very well make out the merozoids inside the schizont it, they, there can be about 12 to 24 merozoids in each schizont now we go to the thin smear I apologize for the poor quality of this because the ring form is not quite very well seen I guess though it was seen very well in the microscope. Here we can actually make out the chromatin dot and a vague ring. And here we can see the polychromasia and enlarged RBCs with a trophozoid form and Schaffner's dots. So what we have to understand is when there is uh, infection by malarial parasite there will be RBC destruction and when there is RBC destruction there will be more increased production of the bone marrow and naturally there will be more of polychromasia and normoblast seen in the smear in this smear we can see a polychromatic cell here polychromatic RBC and another thing about the RBC uh, about our infection of uh, YVAX is that the RBC which inf gets infected by the YVAX gets enlarged. Here you can see the RBC is quite larger compared to the other RBCs, other the inf uninfected RBCs. Here the infected RBC is quite larger than the uninfected RBCs. And then in this RBC we can actually see numerous tiny dots. These are known as the Schaffner's dots. And also you can see chromatin dot little more enlarged and also the bluish gray cytoplasm of the uh, of the parasite you can see it has increased from the ring stage to a large larger and enlarged form now as i said normoblast can also be seen it just signifies the increased R, uh, bone marrow production of rbcs in response to the rbc destruction by the parasite in this we can see the schizond schizond you can very well make out the multiple number of merozoids in that in the schizond there can be as i said 12 20 12 to 24 merozoids in each schizond now this uh, smear shows or this field shows both a trophozoid as well as the uh, schizond this is a schizond here below and above one you can see an amoeboid like a shapeless amoeboid form in an enlarged RBC having Schaffner's dots. This actually is a ring form here uh, in the extreme left which I have not really marked. And this shows a female gametocyte. Actually it's not really necessary to identify the uh, if it is a female or male in 
in a smear but uh, just for educational purpose i have uh, mentioned that and a uh, female uh, gametocyte is also called as a macro gametocyte and it has a round to oval cytoplasm an eccentric chromatin dot that you can see the eccentric chromatin pink chromatin dot you can see eccentrically and the round to oval cytoplasm is quite evident and um, you can also see the dots Schaffner's dots and this is the male gametocyte in this you can see uh, the chromatin dot is actually more in the central part it's a large pink to purple chromatin dot and it is surrounded by a pale halo it's quite difficult to understand but still a pale halo is evident here and you can also see the cytoplasm around that now this is actually i got the table from clinical parasitology and practical approach by elizabeth a Zeebeck. This shows the various stages at a glance and you can really read it out yourselves. And this also uh, is a picture that I got from the internet, the source I have provided below. Even though in the source is written, the source is unknown, but it's quite uh, useful to understand the morphology of the various forms. You can see the early trophozoite or ring form. You can see the developing trophozoite. Then you can see the immature schizont going on to mature schizont, which almost fills the RBCs. And go. This shows the five shows a micro gametocyte. You can see the central chromatin dot, a uh, halo, and this shows eccentric nucleus, uh, eccentric chromatin dot in a female or a macro gametocyte. Male is also called microgametocyte. Okay, thank you.